So hey everyone, let's talk about Telos. Telos has been growing and it hasn't been even listed on the big exchanges yet. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at the cheap altcoins. No front running adheres to first, first out processing, making it compliant with the needs of global exchanges like NASDAQ and New York, New York Stock Exchange. So seems like Telos is the big token in finance and it actually has seen some recovery and I, that's why I wanted to talk about it today feel like it's pretty important to address these issues in crypto. Uh, have been a lot of uncertainty right now with, with crypto basically growing, not growing. Transaction fees start less than one cent. Well, it's not good as Solana. It's definitely good. Uh, this is the most important thing. While financial institutions might be coming in, tell us uh, 150% growth. And I feel like this is because, look at this. 2021, we thought financial institutions are coming in. They were not. They were. They did not save us. They did not do anything at that point. And and basically, crypto kind of faded away, right? But now crypto is back and it's stronger than ever. We're seeing more crypto basically growing, more crypto rising, and I, I feel like that's insane potential. Um, in that sense, like we could be seeing so much more of. The market's basically recovering if the financial institutions come in. I'm definitely excited for that. I hope you are as well. But if we look at it the long-term way, so here we look at Telos actually growing up from six cents back to 24 cents. And I feel like it's very institution-based. So right now, Telos is going to be not the biggest crypto coin, but it's going to be one of the main ones. Um, and... That is because it, it this no front running. So the biggest issue is usually bots can snipe your trades. That's nobody likes that, right? Nobody likes to see uh, basically bots sniping you, bots taking your cash, your profit, your shares of crypto. Um, and that's what they're trying to solve in a way. Uh, and that's what I'm really excited about in that sense is the unlimited potential this has. This has a lot of potential, in my opinion. Why? Because we have been waiting for something like this for quite a while now. And that here it is. It's exactly what we were waiting for in that sense. So that is definitely good news. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see that. That Telos is here. Also, regulatory clarity. Like, right now, there's been so little regulation. People were furious. Now we're finally seeing markets recovering and I feel like that's the biggest drawback people were, were talking about. People were saying, oh, regulatory clarity is going to destroy me, right? Again, this will save probably a lot of problems that they're facing. So they're trying to be more future government compliant. Launch without an ICO ensuring a fair start and lowered regulatory risk. Utilizes layer zero for enhanced security. And again, low transaction fees. I, I, I said a lot of institutions will have a problem with low transaction fees. And this is why I think Telos is growing. One of the big whales probably found out, hmm, now this is a token I want to see that maybe institutions will pick up. Top 500 coin, volume 24, 2.4 million. Well, 2.4 million is actually kind of low. So it's high volatile. So I'm guessing a whale picked it up. Because here it used to be like 4 million, 3 million. Uh, and now we see it slowly rising up. Actually trending. This in crypto, 2 million trading volume is nothing. Like literally nothing. It's not that big. It's not that big of a difference. But I feel that one of the whales scooped up a big supply. And they're hoping, because it hasn't been listed on the big exchanges yet, uh, that it will be compliant. It will be picked by governments. And if it does get picked out by governments... There is going to be a massive bull run for this token, especially now they're trying to be compliant, but I'm going to guess if the governments really need a token like that or a blockchain. So features on-chain amendment voting. This is what I like. Foundation elections. So the community can decide. Uh, I mean, a lot of tokens launched with I, I, without an ICO, to be fair, uh, because Ripple started with an ICO, but that was like 2017, 2018. Usually cryptos don't have an ICO to these days. So that's where I feel the problem kind of rises. You're kind of saying, oh, but I didn't do it, but so did so many other cryptos. So tell us, am I bullish on it? Again, 
Talos Foundation officially announced a few things. They they also had a DeFi relaunch. So tons of great stuff in the, the short term, long term sense, whatever you want to call it. I'm definitely very, very excited for that. Uh, again, if you guys want to be kept up more to date with content like this, be sure to smash that like button. And I will keep you guys updated. Until next time, peace everyone. Wow, Sui. I've been hearing about Sui a lot. So that's one of the tokens that really got me thinking on exactly what's happening. Hopefully you're all doing that well today. I sure am. There's been a lot of talks of, of where crypto is right now. And we have been finally hearing more info on that, uh, guys, as we predicted. But what I'm really excited about right now is ICP is really growing in a big sense, in a big way. Uh, and that's the big news about it. We have been waiting for ICP for such a long time to see uh, such a long recovery. And now Sue is coming with, uh, with them exactly as we wanted. So we've been waiting for this one as well. So Sui has been growing also uh, last year, 82% down all time is 50% down, but it has seen some recovery and it's been a brutal, brutal 2023 for it. So what exactly is Sui? Now, Sui is a very, very simple thing. And that is, we check over here, first kind of layer and smart contract platform designed from the bottom up to make digital asset ownership. And this is the future. This is what the future is digital asset ownership, real estate tokenization, owning on the network. Um, at least that's what people are saying in this next bull run. Rich on-chain assets with horizontally scalable processing and storage. Sui supports a wide range of applications with unraveled speed at low cost, low cost. That's what people want to hear. Um, the, the founders are docs, which is nice, but I really wanted to see why is this on number 70 market cap? Because it's really creeped up. And this is both good and bad news. Like, 600k followers um and a lot of crypto talk stuff so if you're not long term in crypto you're not really going to understand what they are posting because they're posting a lot about blockchain i feel like the community of sui is very dedicated in that sense they have 225 million total value locked top four non-evm so basically means i guess um the the ones that you know bots can't use so that to me is incredible actual incredible news does seem like uh, sui has major potential to see some price hikes just as this one less than two weeks ago it hit 200 million i'm guessing because the crypto markets are also growing uh we are seeing shout out to sui community look at this total value locked not phasing at all and going from 150 million to 225 million of course it also grew not because more holders came in but because crypto improved Sue shatter its own record, collecting nearly 250k in daily fees. That to me is also incredible. Like what we are seeing right now with Sui is it's really one of a kind. It's fuel and a reward for liquidity providers on the network that incentivize more activity and helps price sustainability of DeFi. There's one big problem problem with Sue right now, Sui, is that most people they're not that big on DeFi. Uh, so that's where I think the problem is for for crypto right now but i think in the near future we could definitely be seeing some sort of uh recovery in that sense and i am honestly very very excited to see more of sui on going because if it's sharing records uh, collecting day by day fees who knows what happens next um and that's an exact scenario that i am seeing also right now um seems like sui is just getting started in that sense uh, it, it's getting stronger and it's really not giving up. I know I might be repeating myself, but this is it. Like this is the volume we are seeing right now from 2023. It really blew up. Um, it survived all those bare, bad markets. DeFi is not coming back in a sense yet, but it might be coming in the near future. And that's what I'm really excited is if we see DeFi really recover, who knows what the next scenario might be. Like that would be completely exciting. Um, and I'm just thinking like, is crypto right now going to survive the next bear winters of these DeFi? Sui definitely has that potential. But okay, so if you see here, they're actually focusing also on some crypto games. 
So they have low transaction fees. This is like a Pokemon Go copy or like running. Like Steppen, we saw that, Run Legends. Um, it's It looks like a cool trailer, you know? Usually crypto trailers are boring. So this one is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but we got to realize like long term, where is crypto going to go? And this really makes me wonder, is Sui going to see some massive, massive recoveries? Most likely. Yeah, I, I do feel like that Sui could have a, its potential. It's still very early in its stages. DeFi is early in its stages. I don't think DeFi is going to be the future. So if Sui can actually collab with someone with one project, that would be insane and blow up the price. But if you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace everyone. This token just had a two-year celebration. So what's happening, everyone? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day today. I am having a very good day. If you guys are interested in more content like this, be sure to smash that like button and I will keep you guys up to date and with everything that's going on. But we did have some great news coming this week, guys. And I am very excited to talk about Threshold. Now, this is a market cap of 10850, which ain't that bad. Ain't that bad at all. I'm kind of supportive of it. Uh, but we have been seeing so many different updates for so many different coins. And that's what I really like in the bull market. Uh, really tons of potential tokens in that sense. Uh, what I feel like is crypto right now is exploding. Exploding in a sense, it's getting more holders, getting more people back on track, uh, all sorts of these awesome updates. And that's where really the holders are staying in the crypto game but threshold let's talk about this one smash that like button if you haven't already it's a beautiful morning threshold network provides maintain a suit of cryptographic primitive for several decentralized apps the network is the product of a protocol merger between keep network and new cipher and this one was trending today and this is why i feel like so a lot of times we see different trending tokens we see blur gmx we got to we got to check all these trending tokens. There's so many trending tokens. I can't even keep up to them, guys. Um, but I love my job. I really do. So, if we look at all these trending tokens here celebrating 2 years of threshold. Taco Mainnet is live. Staking lockup bonus is available. T Bitcoin fee holiday until February 10. So, I wanted to check what actually this token does. And they have like a Docs team which is pretty awesome. 50,000 followers. Uh, our coin market cap community is growing, our out, outpacing our crypto Twitter. Um, so this is what I think, why this token was trending. Now, I, I review different coins and they have a very large backing on coin market cap, but they don't have a very large backing on crypto Twitter. So I feel that's where the majority of, of the bull run gains come from is from this very simple like uh, crypto run in a sense. So that being said, if you guys want to be also kept up more to date with content like this, um, I'm basically reviewing random tokens. I didn't really understand this one. If we check over here, celebrating two years of Twitter. And if you check on their Twitter, they have about 35K followers. Taco is now live on the staking dashboard, a decentralized threshold cryptography network, the home of the Bitcoin project, celebrating two years of threshold. So this got about 3000 views. Uh, threshold is heading to Ethereum Denver. New Cypher is hiring solution engineers. Celebrate Taco, our second major crypto is, is live, enabling secure data sharing without central authority trust. So bonus yield for token lockup until January 15th. So there we have it. Uh, they offer bonus tokens, but I'll keep you guys updated with more news like this. If you guys want more content, be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already. Until next time, peace everyone.